Hi, my name is Mas, and this is a video about effect placement. In WISE, you can apply effects on the audio objects in the actor mixer hierarchy or the interactive music hierarchy, or you can place effects on buses in the master mixer hierarchy. But be aware, there might be some differences in resource usage. Let's apply a pitch shift effect to the world actor mixer. In the property editor, select effects. In the WISE adventure game, the pitch shift effect is used when going into slow motion. So let's now, in the first row, enable a pitch shift effect. WAG Pitch Shift Slow Motion Mode. Now head into the sound bank layout and generate the sound banks. Now head into the profiler. Connect to the Wise Adventure Game in the editor. And now head into Unity. Press play. While you're standing in the tutorial area, press escape and press slow motion mode. Press Ctrl P to exit play mode, or Command P on Mac. In WISE, let's head into the Plugins tab and locate the WISE Pitch Shifter. Take the time cursor a bit back and notice the number of instances is 12. And that's because the Pitch Shift effect was applied to all the children objects as well. If you go to a random sound child, you can see that the WISE Pitch Shifter is applied but grayed out. And this means that it's inheriting from a parent. And in this case, it's the World Actor Mixer. So by applying the effect on the World Actor Mixer, we've now distributed the WISE Pitch Shifter on a lot of different audio objects. However, in this case, we can do it much more effectively. Instead of applying the Pitch Shift effect to the Actor Mixer, you can apply the effect on the audio bus. On an audio bus, the effect will be applied to all channels of the audio bus. So when we applied the effect to the World Actor Mixer, the effect was applied to a lot of different audio objects. And for each instance, there might be files that are set to stereo, which requires two times the effect for each track, meaning we'll end up with more than 12 channels of effect processing. But instead, we can do this much more effectively by applying the effect on a bus instead. Select the World Audio Bus. When applying effects on a bus, you will have one instantiation of that effect, but the amount of channels processed will be dependent on the channel configuration. Now, Wise Adventure Game is scalable to whatever configurations you might have. If you, for example, have a headset with two channels, that means that you have two channels of effect processing. Let's remove the effect from the World Actor Mixer and apply it to the World Audio Bus. Let's now generate the sound banks and play the game. Head into the profiler, press reconnect, and head into Unity. Try to hit a few things. Just to get a few more sound instantiations. Now go into WISE. And notice the WISE pitch shifter is only at one instance. So instead, now the WISE pitch shifter is dependent on how many channels you choose to have on your system. And for those with headphones, only using two channels, you have made a significant reduction. A small tip for, for example, using the pitch shifter, it's a good idea to bypass the effect when it's not used. Notice that the pitch shift effect in the profiler was active even though I never went into slow motion mode. So this unnecessary processing can be reduced by bypassing. But we don't just want to bypass it forever because then the effect won't work. But we'd like to go into the RTPC and take the bypass effect zero because the ID is zero. Select the time speed game parameter. When the time speed is at one, it means that there's no effect applied. So if you make a small region here where the effect is bypassed, you would ensure that the effect is not applied when not enabled. If you are following the certification or want to learn more about Wise Adventure Game, you can click on the signpost.